Hey guys, so it's uh, end of May 2022 and uh, we are just starting to hatch babies out for this year. I've got a lot of really, really cool clutches coming and I've just hatched out some of my uh, most anticipated uh, clutches of the year right now. So this clutch um, was from a Hypo Ultramel Pied, so triple recessive male, to a Pastel Clown Pied female. So all of the babies will come out either pied or pastel pied, and they'll be 100% triple het for hypo, ultramel, and clown. So, um, but I got some really, really weird results out of this clutch. So I'll show you these guys first. So, you know, visibly they're not going to be anything real crazy because they're, you know, physically they're just pieds, but they carry hypo, ultramel, and clown. So the genetic potential with these guys is incredible. So those are just two nor normal pieds. And then this is a pastel pied. And I think this one's a male. This one's a male. That's not really ideal. You know, ideally I would have gotten um, one male, two females. This one's a female. Okay, so then what was really confusing is I got this. This is a clown pied. Um, I believe it's either a pastel or a super pastel. I've only hatched one super pastel clown pied so far, and she's an adult. I think that she was that yellow, I'm pretty sure. But this one's got a little bit darker of a head, so I'm not sure if that's super pastel or not. But either way, the, that shouldn't have come out of this clutch. It was uh, very, very unexpected. The only thing I can think of is that, okay, this is the, the uh, pastel clown pied female that produced these. This is her second clutch. Last year, in 2021, I bred her to a pastel banana double het clown pied, and she slugged out. So with this, this may be a retained sperm from that breeding a year ago, but it's really weird because first of all, the, the, the whole clutch was infertile. Second of all, it's a year later after a different male had bred that female many times over the winter. So the only other explanation would be is that my, my ultra or hypo ultra male pied would somehow be het clown which I don't think that's a possibility. I mean, I guess you never know. I've got a lot of different genes floating around in my collection, but it's just really strange that to see this particular animal. And it is a female. So I'll, don't be snappy. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna probably keep this entire clutch. If anything, I might sell one of the males um, and keep the other, uh, you know, maybe I'll keep these three or I'm not sure how, what it'll be exactly, but um, but anyway, yeah, and I'll probably have to do the pairing again next year, uh, maybe even with a different clown pied, uh, so I can get more individuals because, you know, when you're talking basically, you know, you're talking four different recessive genes in an animal, the odds of hitting on that combo with having all four genes in it is going to be pretty tough to do. Um, I took one of the genes out of the equation by breeding pied to pied, so at least all the babies are pied, so now it's basically breeding triple het to triple het, which is still very long odds. So I'm going to need more females to do that than just a single female. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's my plan with that project. I'm just, for as far as a long-term project goes, this is one of my most anticipated clutches of the year. I uh, wish it would have been a little bit bigger clutch, wish it would have had more females, but like I said, I can always try it again next year and hopefully I'll hit on some more females. Okay, so Let's take a look at a clutch that I want to cut. A lot of you guys know that I'm really, really into the, um, the G-Stripe Clown Project. So I have my first clutch of those for the year to cut right now. And I know one of the babies actually pipped on its own. So um, this clutch, now in the, in the past couple of years, I've produced you know, a couple of genetic stripe clowns per year. because I was breeding double head to double head in most cases. Now I have a visual banana genetic stripe clown that I'm using to breed those same double hats. So this one was a banana G-stripe clown bred to a cine pewter double hat G-stripe clown. 
And let's just see what I have in here. This is a pastel G-stripe clown. Not too shabby of a start for this season with that project. Look at that. Um, this one pipped on its own. Um, for people that aren't real experienced with hatching ball pythons, I recommend waiting until the first baby pips and then very carefully cutting open all the eggs. And I prefer not to cut open the eggs too much. I like to get a good look at what's in there, but I don't need to like cut the whole top of the egg off or anything. Um, I don't want the babies to exit the egg before they're really ready. This is a clown. So that'll be a clown 100% het G-stripe. Don't see any other genes in that one. That looks like a banana pewter. That'll be double het for G-stripe and clown. Can't even really tell what that is. might be a g-stripe clown banana of some kind but i really can't get a good look it's definitely stripe i'm going to say that is a banana g-stripe clown maybe with another gene in there i don't typically do a lot of egg cutting videos because it is really hard to tell what some of the stuff is in the egg but i know a lot of you guys like to see them so i figured i'd do more this year See, that's some of the yolk. Yeah, I can't tell. I don't want to mess with this one too much. It's got all that yolk in there yet. And of course, I'll show these guys once they hatch and shed too. That almost looks axanthic, which I'd be really sh surprised if that was the case. So it's got to be a pewter clown. Just, yeah, it's really light and washed out. Really axanthic looking. Very cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what that looks like out of the egg. Who knows, maybe I even have axanthic floating around in there too. Highly unlikely, but you never know. Okay, and this is a G-stripe. Okay, so, yeah, at least I hit on one. Really excited to see what this probable girl looks like once she's out of the egg. Um, I have a few more. I think I've got th three or maybe four more chances for genetic stripes in the incubator right now. Hopefully I'll get better odds in some of the future clutches. I was hoping to see at least two G-stripe clowns in that clutch, but like I said, I've got a few more chances, so you'll be seeing a few more egg cutting videos with uh, G-stripe clown coming up over the next few weeks. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, I'm going to get back to work here. Today is uh, feeding day for all my holdbacks, so I'm going to start getting on to that. And uh, yeah, I'll be back again soon with another video. Also, make sure to like and subscribe, please. Also, visit my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com, and see what I have available. Uh, we're selling stuff pretty quick right now, but you know, I still got a pretty, pretty good selection of snakes available. Um, last year, 2021, was one of my best years, probably was my best year ever for production. Uh, so even though snakes have been selling awesome, I just I have so many that I produce that I still have a pretty good selection left over. So anyway, take a look at that, and um, I'll be back again very soon with another video.